What up, fellas? Thanks for coming into day four and sticking it with me. We're almost there to Christmas Day when we get to open the big thing. So, what is it today? Well, it's it's two things actually. It's two of these boxes, and I got this from the Justice League. I actually got this for myself at the toy at the toy show. So, yeah, welcome to day three. Let's open this bad boy up. So I wrapped this myself. I like to wrap things. Very fun. I have to open it a little bit nicely though, so I can rewrap the rewrap other things. But I got Wonder Woman, and I also got Green Lantern. So the cool thing about these is that a while ago I made this video where I went, I um showed this uh, flash from the same line and I got it for like 15 bucks and was like marked down for 30. So I wasn't really looking to collect these, but now that I found these at the toy show in San Jose, now I kind of want to collect them. Anyway, I got this one here for like 10 bucks someplace and I got this one here early on um, for, for 20. And I got these early on in the toy show and then later on when I was walking down the aisles, um, I came across uh, Paul Garcia and he had all of them and I was just like, oh man, you know, I could have probably just gotten them at like a good price to just get all of them at one time instead of just like having three at awkward prices now. But, you know, I may just hit you up, Paul, just to get the rest of what I'm looking for. Um, maybe you can cut me a deal, that'd be great. But, I mean, there's, let's see what's on here. I'm missing Superman, I'm missing Batman, Robin, Aquaman, and Hawkman. So, it'd be really cool to get those, simply because it's the Justice League. I have the Code of Bikia, like the, the, the first edition, the first time when they did it in like the kind of a vinyl casting. And then I also have them in the DC Icons line. And now I kind of want to get them for these artifacts things. So, pretty tight. Um, let's go ahead and open up Wonder Woman first, shall we? I don't have a scissor. Okay, now this is really cool. She even has an accessory. So there it is over there. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Some plastic here and her golden lasso. Cool, huh? All right. So. There it is, once again, this is another Wonder Woman figure here. Now the key to this thing here is that it's supposed to kind of look like an action figure. It has little grooves and everything where her joints are, so it looks like she can bend them like a regular action figure, but it doesn't. It's just meant to just stand, so quite nice. You know, looks really good. She's very like, ugh, like that in your face. You know, so it kind of looks like you can even put a sword on there if you like find a sword accessory. So, yeah, looks really good. It's like, it's definitely like the, like a, like an old style, old style thing, but you can drape her, her lasso of truth. I don't know how to make a lasso. I'll make Ariana do the lasso. <laughs> All right. And then let's go ahead and open up this Green Lantern. Now, I can't believe I got this for like 10 bucks. It's just like, really, $10? I guess like maybe he was just trying to sell them for the longest time. Oh, you know what? I got a good deal in the end. Okay, so he comes with a, an accessory, the green lantern, lantern for the lantern and this plastic is a little different here there you go now this one's really nice too he's a very good sculpt and again he has the grooves and everything to make it look like it's an action figure but it's not an action figure really solid really nice it's good material so while um, a few videos back i also did a review on the art effects code of bikia flash that's like this big and it's made of the same material of that, and that was like 120 bucks. And this one here, this is like $30 retail and everything. Now for $30, this is actually worth 30 bucks. This is really, really nice. It's, it's a great 
idea to make it in this uh, art style and the material is good, the sculpt is good, it's like super friend style. This is worth 30 bucks. I got this for 10, totally worth it. So that's it for these guys here. These are gonna go on my shelf and maybe I'll collect these down the line um, next year. Maybe it'll be my thing to collect next year, you know? So these are pretty tight, pretty, pretty damn nice. Hello, I'm Diana. Hi, I'm Hal. Yeah. Oh, you know, I also watched the new Star Wars movie. You know, everyone did, and I finally avoided. I was lucky to avoid spoilers for the most part, but literally like on Saturday, two days after the movie came out, um, Ariana's nephew, seven-year-old nephew, spoiled the movie for all of us by just blurting out a spoiler. Like, oh, it was sad when this part, when this part happened. And then I was like, oh, why, why? Anyway, I think that Oscar Oscar Isaac would be a really good Hal Jordan. He, I mean, I saw this article earlier about uh, toxic masculinity, masculinity, and that's a whole other thing to talk about. But when you when you just kind of look at the character that I, I, Oscar Isaac portrays as Poe Dameron, he really is like Hal Jordan in the comic books. This this uh, just like fastidious guy who will just go and disobey orders and just go and do his thing and yeah i re i really like the grand green lantern Corps. there's a great dynamic between all the different characters um hal jordan is the green lantern but a lot of people like john stewart better for other reasons i know that my friend jt would love to see idris alba and i can't pronounce his name but he won the oscar for i think moonlighting uh, moonlight last year um yeah, that'd be cool too. Like, I don't know if if uh, if either of them would be good just because I feel like they're too old to play those roles. But at the same time, Oscar Isaac feels a little older too. But uh, Idris Elba is really great as uh, as his character in Thor, and it'd be cool to see this like military man play John Stewart too. So there you go. Okay, so those are the toys for day number four. I can't wait to see what comes out next, but before we go, I have some last minute stocking stuff for ideas for you. Okay, so that's it for day four for opening toys. There's only a few more days of this. I can't wait till Santa's big day when I get the big pile of presents and share it with you guys. You guys. But before you go, I have a last minute stocking stuffer for you guys to get. Now this one here, it's not for kids. It's not for kids. Do not get this for kids. It's Joking Hazard. Joking Hazard is from the creators of Side Night and Happiness and an incredibly funny but also grotesque and inappropriate web comic that you can that you sometimes find on Facebook or Reddit or 9gag and you just find them. They're, it's really inappropriate for children. Do not get this for children. So what this is, it's a game that's very similar to Cards Against Humanity. Uh, someone picks a card and you have to create the phrase to match it. The person who thinks, uh, who, who, win, who wins, who has the funniest or most appropriate thing, gets the card, they win it, and then it's just round after round after round. So this is very similar, but instead of uh, phrases, it's comic strips. So I'll share a few of those. So this game, it, it's really fun. I've only played this like two or three times with people because it's, it's hard to get together with people these days. Um, cool story about specifically how we got this. Ariana got this at San Diego Comic-Con from the actual creators of Cyanide and Happiness. And it's even autographed and everything. So you can't see it too well in this video, but I'll do a close up here. So what he did is he drew a little boner on this guy here and then he drew like another guy over here and autographed it. He knew what was gonna happen. And then on our last day of uh, Comic Con on Sunday, it was just me, Ariana, and Tyler. We just started playing this and it was a fun game. So I really recommend this to your friends who are cynical, who are dirty minded, who have their mind in the gutter. Get this for them because they will have a blast. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Instagram for photos, etc., that sort of thing. And please follow me here on YouTube. And tomorrow we'll have another new video unboxing of the day. I'll catch you guys later. Good luck, happy hunting on those gifts. Bye-bye.